Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 12. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're here putting ourselves through hell today. Uh, this is the Miata Sport Cup. Uh, and this is only open for unmodified Mazda Miata MX-5s. Unmodified is the key word there. So uh, we start off with Tsukuba Circuit, Tokyo Circuit, Rio de Janeiro, and then move on to Blue Mountains Raceway. Okay, so we are here at Tsukuba Circuit. Oh my god, the turning circle of this is crazy. What the hell? I also got to remember the, uh, the B button is the shift up button. It's going to throw me off guard because I've been playing Gran Turismo 7 for the past, like, two days. Lovely. I think tomorrow we're also going to be streaming Forza Motorsport because I was actually supposed to do it yesterday, but, um, just didn't end up doing it. So, I'm going to have to stream... Ooh! I'm not in the lead anymore. I'm going to have to stream some extra Forza Motorsport streams just to keep my footage up. The amount of uh, extra footage. Imagine not having a one petabyte storage server. Man, if I was Linus Tech Tips and I could afford that. I mean, to be honest, even Linus can't afford that half the time. <laughs> Let's be honest. He gets most of his uh, servers sponsored to him, but even then, that's just ridiculous amounts of storage. I've got eight terabytes in my PC, though. Wow, I've got nine and a bit. We've got an eight terabyte drive, a one terabyte drive, and a uh, 240 gig drive, so... Oh, I hate this with a passion. Go up the inside. Oh! Nice one. So yeah, last three streams have taken up 240 gigabytes, which is crazy. But I can't delete any of them yet until the first video goes live. And then I can delete the footage as the videos are coming out. I don't want to delete him until. Four 14 terabyte server graded discs for free. Mm, not bad. Not bad. I know a mate who's, um, who got a drive from his work as well. Because they were throwing him out. Which is not bad. To be honest, I... Uh, I do need to buy... I think what I'm planning on doing is buying another 8 terabyte. And I'm going to move all of what's on my 1 terabyte at the moment to the 8 terabyte. Um, and use the 8 terabyte for like my videos and, and like my new D drive, basically. So that way I can have a 8 terabyte game drive. And then I can record all my footage to... Um... That 8 terabyte drive instead. Just because why not? What are they going to do? The only thing is, actually, it might be worthwhile me getting an SSD instead. Because I need something faster. So the drive's good for recording stuff too. Hmm. Yeah, I think it might be worthwhile getting a one terabyte M.2. It's not like I'm low on storage, but when it comes to editing stuff, like if I can just take the footage that I want to edit, move it to the drive, edit it off the drive, and then it should be much smoother. Because I think the reason why my... Um, what's the best hard drive? I always go Toshiba because I've never had a Toshi 
Toshiba drive fail on me, ever. I've had two Seagate drives fail on me, but Toshiba's always worked. Pretty much ever. So, I sort of am um, a bit of an advocate for Toshiba hard drives, but, you know, it's just personal preference at the end of the day. You just get a hard drive, really. A hard drive's a hard drive. It's not... How do you write that? Uh, it's T-O-S-H-I-B-A. They do uh, external drives, they do internal drives, they do everything. Um... But yeah, I think it might just be worthwhile doing that. Because I wouldn't game off the drive, off the M.2. I don't see the point in SSD gaming when I've grown up playing games off of DVD, for crying out loud. Man, when playing games off of DVD... Like, I played Forza Motorsport 3 off DVD and Forza Motorsport 4. Oh shit, I forgot to shift down. Not ideal. <laughs> Forza Motorsport 4 off DVD was disgustingly slow at loading. But uh, luckily you could download the games to the hard drive, as long as you had a hard drive. If you weren't lucky enough to have a hard drive in your Xbox 360, well, you were fucked. Long story short. Woohoo, I love unupgraded Mazda MX-5 Miatas. Woohoo. Sinking in the sand. Right, lap number six. Not bad. Yeah, that makes sense. Obviously, everyone's got a preference. I prefer with my storage options that I've got. Because it's not server grade or anything like that. So, um, I've never actually tried Western Digital. So, I can't really say that's good or bad. Um, I know a lot of people rave about Samsung SSDs though. So, I'm more than likely going to try a... Samsung M.2. Um, did that car just crash? Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, but I can't really say anything about Western Digital. But I, I will definitely say that um, I've never had a problem with Toshiba drives. So, result, I guess. I think I've actually, actually, now that I mention it, I think this has a Western Digital in it when it came with it. So, I'm not 100% sure what the brand was because I am really bothered checking. I'll check in a bit. Yeah, it might actually have a Western Digital in it. Western Digital is the uh, one with the blue sticker in it, I think. Bright blue. Bright blue. Why is this car so close up my ass? Come on, man. Give me a break. Nicely done. It's been a close race this entire time. It's going to be a nice break for people on YouTube because they will have had like nine minutes of footage without an advert. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, I'm going to avoid saving that replay because we've had a lot of Sakuba thumbnails. Very nice. It definitely doesn't help that. I've only got a 240 gigabyte boot drive, but most PCs, unless you... Hi, dog. Woof, woof. <laughs> Most um, PCs boot drives typically come on on the cheaper end of the spectrum, like what I got, will come with a 240. It's like the best middle ground. I 
I hate that corner. It's ridiculous. Here we got this, though. Why is this race so long now that I think about it? Can you actually? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I didn't even know that was a thing, so thank you. <laughs> go, go, go! Pull away! Pull out! Oh my god, I hate this car with a passion. Uh, yeah, if you can do that, would be good. That'll help a lot. And that way I won't mess it up. Because guaranteed I'll do something wrong. Oh, I did not like that. <laughs> I did not like that at all. That was a very risky corner cut. The amount of advertising is unreal. Like that Epson tower there. Guaranteed they paid a crap ton to have that advertised on this game. Nice. Oh my god, this is ridiculously slow. <laughs> I can't wait to be done with this Mazda and just, like, throw it in the bin. Get out. <laughs> uh, thank you for that, Cyber. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Because I'll hope hopefully... Because I don't really store a lot anyways in downloads, but it's enough that... Um... It just stays there and it takes up space. And like occasionally I get it where the bar is red, where it's so full. Uh, I'm probably not the ideal person to uh, to ask. And Cyber here works with PC, so. <laughs> Why is this song got like fish noise? <laughs> All that stuff. There we go, much better. Is this shuffle in the music? I can't tell. It is. I don't know why the end of that song was just like a flopping fish. It was just. <laughs> Fish go flip flop. Bam 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 and bam. 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 There we go.
Dun, 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 dun. Holy crap. Hey, that's not bad. Only thing I would say is with getting a second-hand drive is the fact that you aren't always aware of how aged it is. So, sometimes it's alright, sometimes it's not. Based on the fact that they were server drives that you got, I probably assume that they were used to store things once, and then they were just read from, which typically doesn't degrade as easily as if it was constantly being written to and deleted. But... Come on, hurry up. Oh, they were brand new. They ordered too many. And that's a result then. I definitely... I don't think I need more storage space. I just need to be more efficient with my storage space. But I do need an SSD for when it comes to editing stuff, because otherwise it's just a ball lake. But I should be able to find a good Samsung SSD for like 75 quid for a terabyte, so... <laughs> I like how you just asked for four of them and they were like, yeah, sure, no problem. There we go, 15 grand. We're up to level 23 as well. Oh, I've skipped that, great. It is time for Rio. Three laps around Rio, which is, uh, eh, it's not as bad as four laps around Tokyo, that's for sure. Rio's not a bad track, the only problem is... After this corner, it's a very long straight, which isn't the problem. It's what's at the end of the straight that is 100% the problem. Because you've got an extremely narrow chicane, and it's enough that you mess your timing up, you're dead. End of argument. Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I mean, at the end of the day, they were prepared to spend that much on storage drives anyway, so... Not too bad. How much does... I, I'm actually curious, because my 8 terabyte drive comes to 7.2 terabytes of usable space after they partition stuff off. How much would a 14 terabyte drive end up? Because I assume it would probably be somewhere around like... 11.9? 12.3? Somewhere around that range. That's what I imagine anyways. Of usable space, but I wouldn't know. Bonk. Twelve-ish, yeah. Sounds about right. To think that Windows has to use up two terabytes just to be able to understand what's on the drive is crazy. That's why I really like how Sony's done their SSD expansion. Because you put an SSD in, because... I, d I don't know how they do it, but you get the full storage. So if you buy a 2 terabyte SSD, you get all 2 terabytes. No questions asked.
Because it doesn't have any... What's it called? Stuff on it. I don't know. I assume all the important stuff that they have to store... Not on the PS5. It's weird. They have this weird thing that allows you to... It doesn't... It uses a lot, a lot less. PC's nice and cool now, actually. I just took the side panel off. <laughs> so fuck it. You don't need side panels. It actually looks better as well because it lights up a little better. Or I can see the lights in it better because there's no glass on the outside anymore. I really like it. The only thing is, you got to be pa careful on uh, <laughs> any liquids near it, because any liquids splash on it. <laughs> it's now more vulnerable. I never really spilt anything on the glass anyways, so that's why I was like, well, I'll take the panel off. Fuck the panel. I need cold PC. Give me cold PC. We got six people in chat at the moment, which is awesome. Welcome, everyone. Sounds of us inside. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're halfway there. There we go. For some reason, we've managed to get distance on this one, but on Sakuba, it was just mental. Use decimal, meaning 14 terabytes is 14 times 10. Oh, did it? Really? That does seem really misleading, because obviously... That's not then 14 terabytes of window space. Because I assume, instead of saying like, oh, a terabyte is 1,024 gigabytes, I assume they're calculating it as 1,000 gigabytes in their calculations. That seems stupid. Correct me if I'm wrong as well, if you're on about something else. Do, 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 do. Ah, fair enough, yeah. 719, not bad. I'm going to save that replay. We'll use that. Cargo Vroom. Agreed.
<laughs> oh, too much curb. <laughs> the lag is unreal. So, um... I did not know this. I think we discovered it in the last Forza stream. Uh, this game's actually emulated on the Xbox 360. I don't know why I assumed. I don't know whether it was because it was in the same era as the PS3 and the PS3 just had a PS2 and a PS1 chip in it. So I don't know why I assumed that it had native Xbox original hardware, but it doesn't. It's all emulated. Which is kind of crazy to think about that back then Microsoft made an emulator for their own games. It's pretty cool. I don't know why I'm so surprised that, about that. I just thought, like, that'd be the last thing that these big companies want to do. I mean, you look at Sony. They're not really putting much effort into making a PS3 emulator for the PS5. What are you doing? Go away. I mean, at the end of the day, the PS5 has enough power to emulate PS3 games, no problem. So... Why they don't do it? I know the architecture is complicated, but we've seen people emulate a PS3 game on PC and getting close to the architecture. You know, just seems weird. It's all about the money, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's possible now, because some very talented individuals have worked out... Well, it's not worked out. They knew how it worked anyways, but worked out how to get a normal computer to run Sony's architecture. And it was horrendous. Like, the PS3 generation? Nah. That was the worst idea Sony ever had. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh yeah, no, I don't imagine any of the games will run at normal 4K. Majority of it will be upscaled. And the upscaling will be done by, I assume, something like DLSS, but for PlayStation emulators. I think a majority of the PS3 games ran at 720p. But there are a few select titles, like select first party titles, where they allowed 1080p. Because I know Gran Turismo 6 was definitely a 1080p title. I'm not 100% sure about Gran Turismo 5. Whether that was 1080 or 720. But it definitely didn't look great. Gran Turismo 5. I think it was because they copied too much stuff from Gran Turismo 4. And that was like PS2 era graphics. So, nah. At least uh, Gran Turismo 7 is all new content. Like, none of it's been copied from the old game. Unless you call the old game Gran Turismo Sport. But that was GT7 Prologue, basically. But yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Not doing too bad. Based on the fact I hate this track anyways. Do you read any manga? Not really. The only one I've read is Death Note. To be honest. And that was a good... I would have been in year 8 when I read that, so... Good few years ago. Yeah. I mean, I, I did quite enjoy Death Note, but it's... Nah. I just don't have the attention span anymore to read. Like, I get bored reading. 
There are a couple of books, like, I, it will take me about a year to finish a book. That's how short my attention span is when it comes to books and anything that involves reading. I think it would have been... <laughs> I have attention span in general. Wow. <laughs> surprised, actually. I'm very surprised. Sometimes I do. Majority of the time, I don't. But, um... Yeah, I feel like it would be made easier for me to, like, read books. Read books in quotations. If I had audiobooks and, like, Audible and stuff like that. But, I don't... again, it's the same with, like, podcasts. I'll listen to a podcast for, like, two or three episodes. And then I'll be like, can't be asked. Maybe the meds do help. The meds are supposed to help. That's what they help with. They help with uh, your attention span and stuff like that. But there are other side effects to ADHD meds that are just horrendous. Um, they obviously help you a lot of the time when it comes to your day-to-day -day tasks. Like focusing on something, staying alert, that kind of stuff. What are you doing? Idiot. Um, but it has a lot of negative side effects. Anything from appetite... Um, mood swings, just everything in general. But the one that's the worst is, um, I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's almost like a feeling of entrapment almost because you are, it, 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 it's, I don't know. Your brain is telling, is wanting to do one thing, but it's only allowed to do another thing. So... Your brain's basically under control of these drugs. Which, I mean... Sure, if, if I need to focus on something, I'll have an energy drink or something. Because that's the same as the meds. But it's not always in my system. It's not always... It's a short kick. And it's a lot better that way than having the meds. Because the meds are... Even though they last eight hours with their kick... Their effect last anywhere from 48 hours to two weeks they can still be in your system even after not taking them longer you're on them for typically the longer they'll stay in your system for i think it took about a week before i started not feeling the effects of my drugs anymore so and thank fuck for that because i sort of feel free but now i can't focus on shit but then I can control that. I can, like, say, ah, I'm going to have a monster. There we go. We're done. Energy. You know. And I got a Mazda Speed MX... Sorry, did they give me the Mazda that I was just driving as a reward for completely like this? That's ridiculous. I'm livid. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.